my brothers and sisters if you look across the globe the people engaging in that which is prohibited islamically have increased and i'm speaking about the muslims so if you look at for example intoxicants people are actually consuming and partaking of that which allah has prohibited you and i know that anything that intoxicates your mind is actually prohibited ma askara kathiruhu faqaliluhu haram the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that which intoxicates you if you were to consume a lot of it then even a little of it is prohibited unfortunately today you have people who are muslim they declare that there is none worthy of worship besides allah and that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger but subhanallah they actually are proud to say i only do a bit of weed that's it they are proud to say i only have a little social drink once in a while in terms of alcohol i have a small glass of wine once in a while not too bad not too bad subhanallah look at how the terminology has changed when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna al khamru wal maisir wal ansab wal azlam rijis rijis min amal shaytan fajtanibuhu la'allakum tuflihun allah lists four items from among those four he speaks about intoxicants khamr referring to anything that intoxicates and he speaks about gambling any form of gambling and he speaks about various things of the pagan times and then he says these are dirty things they are rijs rijs means impure unclean dirty and at the same time amal shaytan they are from the handiwork of the devil So Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says fajtanibuhu stay very far away from these things. So now you have some wise cracks coming and saying where does it say it's totally prohibited? Show me the verse. Show me the verse. It's like zina and adultery. Allah says wala taqrabu zina Don't even go close to adultery. So someone might say where does it say it's not allowed? Show me where it says it's but that is the highest level of prohibition when allah says don't even go close so when it comes to intoxicants allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says stay far away from it fajtanibuhu why la'allakum tuflihun in order that you achieve success you want to succeed no intoxicants in your life at all no matter what be strong my brothers and sisters we can do better we can do a lot better subhanallah no intoxicants no gambling we won't do it because why we want to succeed i want to see success physical spiritual religious closeness to allah all other success of this world and the next is connected to this